Scientists are revealing Pikes Peak is two feet shorter than you might have thought. And oh, <laughs> I know it hurts, hurts right? right? Yeah. <laughs> Across the state, new measurements reveal the heights from many 14ers have been evaluated as shorter than we ever thought. Cardio 13's Annabelle Childers talked with a scientist today to answer the question, is Pikes Peak shrinking? It's the iconic backdrop of Colorado Springs. America's Mountain, that's what it's referred to. Pikes Peak. It captivates locals and tourists. I, I can't even, I don't have words to describe how much fun I had. But scientists with the National Oceanic Atmospheric Association, for short, NOAA, say the peak is two feet shorter than the height avid hikers may find on a site like 14ers.com. If you're a lover of Pikes Peak, now is not the time to get scared. Pikes Peak is still solidly a 14er with an elevation of over 14,100 feet. But across the state, Colorado mountains are all feeling the impacts of these new measurements. It's not that the mountain has changed. Um, all that has changed is, is our ability to measure it. Samantha Arundel is a scientist working for the U.S. Geological Survey. She says the experts in her field are constantly finding new technology and methods to measure these mountains more precisely. So it's not that Pikes Peak is two feet shorter because of something like erosion. These are geological features that have been around for a long time and they change very, very slowly. Instead, the scientific field is simply expanding their methods for measurement. So instead of stressing that your favorite 14er may lose its flashy designation, this is what Arundel suggests. I would say just, you know, go out and enjoy, enjoy the mountains. Once you get up there, you feel like anything's possible. So we wanted to experience that for ourselves. Reporting from Pikes Peak, Annabelle Childers, KRDO 13.